guys, welcome to today's video. Today, oh, the horses are in the stalls. I forgot. I just, well, I didn't even say hello. Just walked in talking to Sophie. Forgot she was here. I'm sorry. Oh, where's your boot? <laughs> here, over here. So, so apparently uh, Penny did not want to keep her duct tape boot on today. What does that mean, Sophie? You did it badly. I did it badly. It's true. You know what? You're getting taller. You know how I know? Because I'm wearing big boots. No, because I have to lift my hand up now. I used to be able to just sit it like this. Now I have to lift it up for you. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Sophie is on the prowl. You guys might not notice, but every time she stands beside Gabby, she's so tall. All kids go through this big, huge growth spurt where they start growing and they don't stop until they get like where they're gonna be. And Sophie and Gabby never really had that like massive growth spurt. Like tall, the taller you're gonna be, the bigger the growth spurt usually is. And Sophie has been like, like crazy growing, like inches. How did I distract? Dog, whoa, hey. Dog games in the morning. I'm a bird, I'm a bird. We're still waiting for Gabby, but when she was doing that, it made me think of something. It made me think, think about how when we took the dog someplace recently, and um, I videoed it, and another dog came over and said hello. Another dog came over and said hello, and I only videoed like a small bit of it, and it, Daisy had her tail tucked and was like nervous. And Molly was right in the other dog's face, like, and being, like, more assertive, I guess. And I'm cleaning poo. And um, so a lot of people commented, all the dog experts commented and said that we did that badly because Daisy was terrified and was about to become aggressive or could have become aggressive because she was Daisy so terrified. Know what aggressive is. And that Molly was handling it well. And so based on just that small clip, that's what people are saying. And it made me see like how you can't really physically see or know, even if you're an expert sometimes, unless you're there, unless you know the whole experience. Because what actually ended up happening that day is even though <laughs> Uh, Daisy tucked her tail she wasn't saying I'm afraid I'm afraid you better get away I'm gonna flip she was saying I'm submissive I'm submissive and she was gentle and sweet and kind with that dog like she enjoyed it so much she went on after like to be really playful with that dog didn't have a problem and I could feel that from her so maybe you have to be there and feel what the dog is feeling but wait was that kind of work all I can no, it was a lab, it was at the apple orchard. Okay, but then, at the same time, people were saying like, Daisy, Molly was handling it well, she was really social, she could handle it, she, you know, was like inquisitive, or I don't even remember what people were saying. Not everybody, but some people. And then, what actually was happening was Molly was saying, I'm the boss of you and you better know it. I am the boss of you and you better know it now. And then the dog did not know it and Molly was like, Rrr! and we were like, no Molly, you can't do that. But it's just funny how like, one, people have different perceptions of every single situation and you can both be doing the exact same thing, be there, know everything, and still have a different take on it. And that's why it's important for the world to have so many different types of people so we can learn from each other. But also, it pointed out to me how drastically people can misjudge a situation just by not being there. I have to go get Gracie? All right, we brought two horses out at a time. Because Gabby is not here. Wait. All right, there you go. Good girl, yeah, don't run because the don't you do it. Don't you do it. She knows not to run. Like I know. She's so smart. She's a woman. She's a woman, if you she guys. She starts throwing and she starts sliding. She's like, nope, I'm not doing that. Yeah, she, the I'm girls are safe. Them. That's why girls don't yeah, get us boys hurt. are not safe. That's why we always buy girl dogs. Because they don't get dirty. <laughs> She's joking. <laughs> but I appreciate the mind of a girl. It's true. I appreciate the mind of a girl. Because girls are more conscientious. Girls are more conscientious about things. And you know who's not though? Well, I guess she is. Gracie, Gracie's more of a boy. Gracie's a troublemaker. She's our troublemaker and I love her. Let's go Gracie, troublemaker girl. She's like so well behaved, so confident. She's such a confident horse, whoa. So Sophie and I are here to get some chicken food. 
This is where we come. This is all, even in the winter. They just keep this door open and you come here for food. Look at all that food. This, my friends, is what a horseback riding car looks like. We've got boots, we got helmets, not even a bag. This has got to be Sophie's. See, Gabby still uses this. Uh, we got saddles, we got boot bags, we got saddle pads. I like stores like this because they deliver it right to your car. You just open your trunk, sit back down, and they deliver it. What are you eating, Sophie? A giant hierarchy. Giant hierarchy. It's true, giant hierarchies are no breakfast. Not breakfast of champions, but today is the day. This is the only thing I've been eating today. So this is the thing. Today, but sometimes when you have no time for real life, because you're just busy all the time, and that's what happens. We're headed now to get pick up Gabby. Sophie, you have to put pants on, because we're going to be outside for a couple hours now. Okay? I have No, real pants. Nothing really matters If you're not mine right here, right now feel so bad about his blanket we got Gab we got Finn we just did not get Gabby's horse he's in the woods <laughs> he doesn't he does Gina does not like a big herd pink one comes back but again thank you so much Anthony for sending us the blankets there's one huge thing about these blankets that make us happy what is it so you can always see them we can find Finn Always find Finn yeah, yeah, and probably can find Chino too if he's not like in the woods. <laughs> After I did this, I was gonna go. <laughs> what was that? He pushed me in the field. He was oh. Mad. oh, well, you have to clean him. Hurry before the chiropractor gets here. I was gonna go turn the lights on, but what? no, the lights are already turned off. Yeah, I'm already cold. I don't know why. What I was thinking, I'm closing this door, <laughs> but I look like a robber. Anyways, um, I bonded with the cow bonded with a cow and it was beautiful you guys I want a cow so I've always believed things about cows like that they are incredibly feeling beings I believe it I believe it like horses I believe they're the same and I was watching them and watching them and when the wind would pick up pick up they would go so fast and when the wind would, would let down, they'd slow down again. Like, it bothers me that they don't get blankets and they don't get shelters and they don't get to be warm and they don't get to be out of the mud. And oh, one day, one day we might have a cow. We might have two cows because I love a cow. Getting a cow. <laughs> I bonded with a cow. I thought it was ever seen a cow I see. <laughs> I bond with any animal that looks at me. And you know what? I was looking at the cow across the road and she was staring in my eyes. What just... does he? Wait. <laughs> really? What if it's he? Aren't all cows girls unless they have like horns and are bulls? I don't know. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't know. But it's either a cow or a bull and you can tell the difference. I think. Hurry up, get them clean. Especially his feet. You're very grumpy today. Yeah, you're gonna like this. They like their chiropractic treatment. Okay, so I was looking at her. Finn spooks when I'm walking him down here. And I say, Finn, if you go into that road, if you get free from the lead rope, then you might die because you could get hit by a car. Yeah, don't do and that. And then he stops acting up like, I'm not doing that. Good, okay, hurry Great, up. Fanny. Let's go. Okay, yeah. listen though, I have to tell you this. I was staring at that cow and she was staring in my eyes and I was staring in her eyes and she was staring in my eyes and she did this. And she stuck her nose out at me. She was either giving me the finger <laughs> and saying, it's rude to stare at cows. Or she was saying, hey, I like you. I see you there. Let's play. And that's what I believe. I believe she was interested in me, you guys. I believe she actually had a moment where she recognized me and said, I see you there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> go, go, go. So cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So our chiropractor is going to be here in a few minutes and Gabby's still out there trying to find her horse. And I feel bad for her. And I said, I'm going to go find, I'm going to go find Gabby because that's what we do. Family sticks together. When family means nobody gets left behind. And that, my friends, is how I raise my kids. Nobody gets left behind. And Gabby's out there left behind. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to find Gabby. And then... Sophie said, no, you brush my horse. <laughs> I'll go find Gabby because I don't want to stand in this creepy barn all by myself. I don't see her. She's here? I don't see her. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Okay, close that door then. I know you wouldn't come back without her. I know, I'm terrified of going those woods. <laughs> so you're afraid to go find her. Oh my gosh, the birds. You just let in a bunch of birds. So she's afraid to go find her. And she is afraid to stay in the barn. You made it. I just said she made it. Over there hanging off. I think he over there. That's why you should put on your boots. But anyway, I'm glad you got them. Okay, bring them in. You know, so Finn's all done, but you know that that feeling when it's suddenly spring and you have to stuff inside your clothes like you got too chubby so you have to shove yourself inside your jeans better, yeah it's winter for the boys and we have to shove them inside their blankets <laughs> all their blankets fit tighter than ever before look at these gorgeous horses you guys what oh my cat? gosh they are running free i didn't even get it that's the owners right there that's where they got free they got free yeah. from all right sophie and gabby and i are gonna go catch us some horses you guys just wait gabby. Oh, there's, there's one of the owners okay the owners coming we're gonna She's help going. we're helping all right we're going you guys let's do it poor lady like, like imagine hopefully it's not happening at our house too. but a lady all of a sudden comes running out of her house we saw where the horses went so we're gonna help her because we're equestrians ah. and don't trip <laughs> Suddenly Laura falls on her face. But that's what equestrians do. Lots of cars stopped, but the horses were having a great old time on the road. Oh, okay, I'll show you when we get there. Beautiful horses. They're not coming. Come on. We need something that sounds like grain. You know what I dreamed? What? I just remembered that I dreamed this. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh gosh. And everything. We're never gonna catch them. They're gone. Oh my god. I got to worry about my ankles. I can't run. They are not dressed for this. I might have to go drive. I feel like they went that way. Because there's a trail. We're going to go look on this hill. I can't breathe. Yeah. I don't have to pee. We have asthma. And we have to pee. But literally, like, that's a highway. And this butts up against a bunch of trails, all this field. At least everyone stopped. Yeah, but like she's got three horses and just her to try and get them. Wait so, for me, Mom. Okay. Wait. Where the heck? So apparently there's a me? fence there, so they either went this way or that way. I'm waiting for you. Can you stop and pee? Yeah, go ahead, pee. <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm being attacked by birds. Want me to go back? Oh yeah, you go back and stand in that field. We've lost Gabby, lost the hers horses lost the owner. She said, okay, you guys see anything? Nothing, nothing. Listen, now we've lost Gabby. Oh my God. So this is scary, like that's a horse owner. It's scary as heck. All right, now we're on the top of the hill. We can see clearly, uh, I see nothing. Listen. I don't even see Gabby anymore. You know what's funny? Is that all these people pull over to the side of the road and they saw the horses running on the road and oh, all the men sitting in their cars watching, waiting. All the women jump out of their cars, go on the chase. It's okay. This is not safe. Nobody found them. She didn't find them either? Okay, no, we're gonna get in her car because Whenever something like this happens and I get nervous, I always rely on an inner 
thing and I think they've gone that way and they're going back up around. So I'm going that way. I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna drive around and see if I can find them. They're down there. I can't see them in the- Oh, no, I see them. them. No, I was saying I can't see them in the camera. You guys, you won't believe what happened. But this is how incredible God is. We're looking for a halter. What's that? My stirrup. Okay, close it up. We can get a girth and wrap it Get a girth, get whatever you can, and we'll lock it around them. I found them. You know how I found them? I freaking found them by God. A girth? Mm-hmm. So this is what happened. I got, I got horse treats, too. And a bucket. This is how I found them. You know how I found them? Right there. I know, but you know how I found them? I, I felt it in my heart. I felt my head turning to go to this direction. I don't have a halter. Do you have a halter? I don't so if he's got a girth. We gotta get the one that leads the herd. Okay. So we can wrap this around our neck. So they're in a grass field. So basically I was looking for them and I said, God, show me where they are. And I swear to God, my neck was, it was like my neck was being pulled so far to the right and back a bit. And well, I, at least I'm not on the road. I could feel it. I could feel God saying like, we can't get in here. Like go this way. And so I just got in the car and I jumped and I drove this way and they're here. So if you found a fish sign, my blood sugar is so low. They're here. Maybe we'll I'm eating sugar there. because my blood sugar is so low. So Mom, got, what if we go down there into that parking lot, Ellen? Maybe it's a. All right, let's go. Give me the treats. Give me the treats. Whoa. Here. Give me the treats. Got the girth? No. Look we'll at the girth. terrified you guys picking up Sophie but there's a lot of cars down there everybody left I don't know if they think they can like catch them from someplace else they've all left there's so many people here and there's nobody now just us I've lost Gabby like I'm terrified for Gabby because she's all alone with all these people she doesn't know with no coat on and there's Sophie and she's walking up to these horses you guys just pray she said if we catch the big the fat paint One's walking away, it looks like. Anyway, I'm standing here so that I can catch them. She's got a bucket of treats and a girth. I just pray, like they don't look alarmed. Okay, we got Gabby. Now we see the footprints. Now we see them on people's grass. Oh <laughs> They're grass. So it's okay. Did you catch them at all? Did you get close? Yeah, they just breathed that And you didn't... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're happy to be free. You want my coat? No, I'm good. All right. You got to here take these treats. Take these treats. Wherever I have to leave you, I'll be back to get you. Take these. No, take, take these. Yeah, take the bucket. I can't run with that. But they hear it. No, oh, okay. All right, you going to go oh, with her? Oh, just stay there so I can Okay, but I'm worried those horses are going back up to that way. Yeah, but you should. Did you get your phone? No. You want to get your phone? No. Okay, Here's go. Take, take Sophie's phone with I you. I can't run with the phone. Me either. Okay, you go with her and I'll wait here for a little bit. And then I'll drive over there and I'll just keep going back and forth. One's food motivated. One is food motivated. Is that the one we need? Grab onto the blanket. Hi, oh, you're the one that didn't take treats for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you got the camera. Okay, we got him. One we need. Yeah. As soon as this is the ringleader. All right, I got them. We just got to figure out how we're gonna get them home. 
cute. You're very cute. Okay, here, you can have it. Uh, let's get them away from the road. Okay, so, so walk back that yeah, way. walk back that way. We'll follow you. Come on. Move over. Come on. We're going this way. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't pull away from me. Come on. You're okay. You're okay. Come on. A good boy or girl. Yeah. Hold on. You're probably tired. Listen. We need to get you away from the road. Yeah. So that's the ringleader. We caught the ringleader. It was me. It was me that caught them. Yeah. That's okay. This guy wants to go. Don't go too fast. And I'm running. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to tie them to a tree. <laughs> I don't know. But anything could happen. I just want them away from the road. If I had my phone, I'd phone dad. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. We are the genius ones. Everybody else left, went to go find them. Sophie and I stayed. Oh, yeah. So as long as we keep the, the chubby one, the rest will stay. All right, we're gonna try and take them in there. We'll let them eat grass, maybe. Let me come with my treats. Let me come. Here, 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 here. This one's gonna start running if you no. let those two oh, go. Oh, great. Oh, shoot, they're running. I thought they'd stay. Oh. See, I'm pretty sure this one's not the leader. The fat one. Is this not the fat one? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the leader because... It's going. All right. Frank, what do I do? You want me to go? Listen to me. I will make you... All right, let's walk. Thing. Let's walk toward that one. Let's walk to... Kismet. Kismet. Kismet? Are you Kismet? <laughs> Kismet. You stop it right now. Your mom is going to kill me. Okay, they're just right there. Okay, let's slowly... Okay, hold no, on. I'm going to let go. I no, let me hold it. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. <laughs> stop it. Stop. Okay, we have to let go. They're gone. Oh god, okay. We can't we can't hold it. See, that's not the leader. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate my life. I said that's not the leader. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?